Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about a single arm clockwork swing. This is in relation to a viewer's question. Somebody asked if you could take the two-handed clockwork swing and convert it to a single arm clockwork swing in order to maximize the use of light weights if you can't get heavier weights. The answer is yes, but also no. Let's review the clockwork swing quickly and then talk about transitioning it into single arm, why you would do it and why you wouldn't do it. Clockwork swing is a combination of a bunch of different movements, the inside circle, the outside circle, the alternating circle, and then it turns into the clockwork swing, which ends up on the shoulder. Inside circle, top hand moves towards your center line without moving your feet, push, swing, pull, catch. The outside circle is the opposite of the inside circle. Instead of moving towards our center line, we move away from our center line, rotate without moving your feet, push, swing, pull, catch. Alternating circle is those two things back and forth, inside, outside, inside, outside, without moving the feet. Inside, outside, inside, outside. When we move this towards the clockwork swing, we are going to rest it on our shoulder. We do the inside circle and the outside circle and the alternating circle first because we want to get really good at stopping the club in the balance point so that we don't end up using a big weight and crushing our own collarbone. When you stack all of those movements together, inside circle, stop the weight without hitting yourself, rest it on your shoulder, lift the handle up to parallel to the ground. Balance position, put your elbows in the correct spot, push, swing, pull, catch set it on the rear shoulder front of my body rear of my body outside catch outside catch inside catch outside catch this is really a movement designed for a very heavy club but people start it with a light club so they learn to decelerate the weight and not hit themselves. If we were to convert this into a single arm movement, it gets pretty dicey for most people very quickly. Single arm, inside moves towards our center line, one of our primary athletic skills that we should be very good at is the origin of cross movements and of throwing patterns. Outside moves away from our center line, outside catch, find the balance point, outside catch, find the balance point, put inside and outside together, and you have an alternating circle, making sure that we can rotate equally well both directions with each hand. Turning it into a single arm clockwork swing gets a little bit dicey because of the rear shoulder aspect. This is the one that really freaks people out. Outside circle to rear shoulder catch. Inside circle, not so bad. Stand it up, cross body, here, set it on your shoulder. When you do it with one hand, you are not forced to rotate all the way to face the club. With two hands on, you have to move your body to have the club directly in front of you. With single arm, people can do this without rotating their body. That leads people to do weird things like hit themselves in the side of the head with a giant weight, especially on the outside catch. It gets real dicey for a lot of people real quick. So we tend not to teach it. If you're going to use that as a skill that is actually part of steel mace flow or steel mace vinyasa, and it becomes a pass behind the head. Outside catch, lift the arm all the way up, pull it down, and you create a back pass circle outside catch all the way around lift the chest up pull it down now it is once again an outside catch all the way across and outside you could of course then do the inside version of that where you would start from your same side shoulder transition across to the opposite shoulder stand it up inside catch rest on shoulder transition across, stand it up, inside, catch, lift it up, transition across. I don't teach this one much because it doesn't scale super well. It's not a fundamental skill. It doesn't help people do anything else better other than doing fancy stuff. 
in my mind. Other people have totally different opinions on this topic. I think that people should focus on their inside circles with their controlled balance stops. I think they should focus on their outside circles with their controlled balance stops. I think that they should work on their shield cast and then they should put all of those ideas together to get to a mill, a near side pass, and a reverse mill, the outside version of a mill, same side ear pass. I think all of those are substantially more beneficial than this fancy passing movement. Is it cool? Absolutely. Should you put it in a training cycle? After you've done all the other things with at least three weights, all the way from volume cycle through density cycle for all your primary actions. It's a great idea, put it into training later, but that clockwork single arm swing is something for much, much later in training, especially when it's done with a mace. The odds of people braining themselves right here as they try to do this back pass gets pretty high. The same thing is true for sure with this side. With a club, it's slightly less dangerous because the force is spread out. With a steel mace, the odds of you messing it up are fairly high. So I would encourage you to get very good at all your club stuff first before you start doing something like this because clubs are cheap in relation to facial surgery. If you mess it up, you're really gonna mess it up and you're really not gonna like it. Put this one way later in training after you've done absolutely everything else.